I'm wearing the shirt, so you know what that means. It is extra time. They have a pre-release single and I'm quite excited. In a way, at the same time that I am excited, I am a bit confused because whenever extra has to come back, it's a bit of a bittersweet thing in the sense that you like you're happy i'm happy but at the same time i'm always thinking about is this going to be the last thing like what's going to happen next especially right now with the whole cbx thing against sm and listen i have a beef with sm for a long time don't get me wrong but you know it is this kind of uncertainty i do feel that my theory is that because they had this whole comeback ready and it was going to have a pre-release and all of that, they were like, you know what, this is, might be the perfect moment to showcase that we are worth it because we are EXO, we are in the history of K-pop. I mean, come on now. And, you know, let's just hope for the best for them, mainly. Uh, for us, as fans, I mean, we have what we have and I think that's nice also. Now we're going to have more things with this pre-release that we're going to watch right now. My theory, my theory in regards to this pre-release song is that it is a um, ballad because usually when EXO has like a big comeback like with a lot of energy, you're gonna see that a bit more clear. In this case, I feel it was a bit more toned down. So I think it's gonna be a sad uh, song. It might be a ballad. I might cry. I'm gonna say it right off the bat. Also, allergies are kicking in, so I might cry even more. But anyway, <laughs> let's just go for it. EXO let me in, music video, basically four minutes. Let's go. Okay. I do love the cinematography of the SM music videos, I have to say. Oh no. I can feel that I'm gonna cry. <laughs> God damn it! Why you did this to me? Oh. When Dio starts a song. Mm. Oh yeah, the are they gonna have Very nice palette. I'm loving this palette. Oh, I'm sorry. They have this very nice ballad. Are you gonna actually fully? Oh, yes! Because I am, I'm sorry, my brain is melting. Oh, oh! I would 
Okay. I am amazed. Uh, because here's the thing. When they have done ballads, they don't... I mean, not that I recall. They don't connect it that much with the universe. You know, the exo-universe and the powers. Because usually, you know, ballads are different kind of... A, a different vibe. So, I'm like... Did they genuinely come back? And I think it's lovely, actually. Also, as per usual, EXO logo, it's just beautiful, honestly. I love the fact that it just goes well, and, and you get it. If you know it, you just see it everywhere, and it's lovely. Wow. Wow. It was very interesting. I think it's one of those cases when, if you hear the song on its own, it's a journey. If you see the music video, it's another journey. I, I, I have, I'm still processing <laughs> clearly, I cannot speak. I think it is lovely. I, again, I'm amazed it's a ballad, but I also think that it's very nice, it's very different in the sense of, uh, I mean, last time we have had a lot of more active type of music videos and themes. So in this case, I think the theory is that they are, you know, that there are the exos in living this kind of normal life. They're not the ones, the evil ones, you know what I mean? Anyway, uh, there's the whole aspect of, you know, the exo universe that it can get really tricky. But for what it is, also, let's try to think about it with that, thinking about the exo universe and all the power things. I think it's really fishy. I really enjoy, I, I don't know what it is. I really enjoy when a lyrics are very generic in the sense that they're clearly there's a ballad, there's some romanticism, there's some melancholy and I like that kind of thing when I did not feel, of course I would have to read it again, um, I, I like the fact that it feels that it is just a melancholic song, you know, instead of just a romantic sad song or like a, you know, depressed kind of song, <laughs> let's call it that. But you know what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna rewatch the video because I uh, it's like excellent, so I'm going to rewatch the video and then I'm going to have some conclusion thoughts, hopefully. Let's just go again. I mean, why not? Now, there's a beautiful forest. I really enjoyed that forest. I think the colours already set the whole theme of the music video and that's the type of cinematography that from the start I already like and that I know that SM has a tendency to really pay attention to it and I love that. I really do. They play really well with colours. They know that palette. I mean, not all the time, all the time, but I also love this play of the rug, the small rug that he throws with the big thing. Very nature, very open. So only Suho is in an apartment. Okay. In the open at night though, that's nice. I just love this. It's kind of R&B, I would say. Don't quote me that. I just, I just love this. Oh yeah, I love all of them. Yeah, very romantic. Okay, it is fully romantic. <laughs> it's fine. Maybe it's the vibe. I don't know. Ooh, I like that part of the ocean. because they see a lot of the ocean. That's nice. I really enjoy this moment. With a lot of people, but at the same time, you just see them. That's very nice. You just focus on that. Okay. Oh, 
I, I, I love it. I'm really in love with this palette. It's very creamy, uh, but it has the touch of light, of course, I love. And also these changes of black and white with full color. I think that the only ones that I'm black and white, black and white are Beck and Shang. Oh, so Dio, so vocalist. Okay, okay. And soon never. Oh, I'm also in the I'm I'm fully in this thing. I'm also going to be able to start this part. That is a happy one for me. Okay. Now that bridge. Mm, okay, I might be I might be taking it too far, but I do feel that there's a lot of um repeated places in the EXO movies and universe because I don't know I always like granted again this might be because I'm a fan of EXO and I have watched it all so many times <laughs> that it all comes and goes but you know things like here when everything's been repaired of course where am I gonna find it here like this Bridge reminds me, and this kind of city area reminds me so much of Kai's music video, especially uh, mm, you know the first the first solo that he did, in which he uses his power in that video. So I'm saying that I feel that they have this tendency to also whenever I see snow. Okay, granted, again it's accidental, but this naturey cold weather we have seen it. These type of environments in nature. We have seen the voice scene in relation also to the powers. And I, I don't know, I don't know, I wouldn't be surprised, uh, but also it would be quite fun if they have, in a sense, like a whole uh, mood board in which they have very clearly the universe of X, so in kind of like this is a bridge that exists and this is something that exists. I, granted again, <laughs> the X universe is a whole thing on its own. But yeah, I think that's kind of my theory, I suppose. And I have to say, it is lovely. EXO has a thing, especially with palettes, that is so smooth, so smooth. And they are so talented, of course. And that's something that I just really love and appreciate. This whole video was soft. The color palette was soft. The way they were dressed, the outfits were really casual, but very comfortable. I mean, you were feeling comfort, comfort even though in the music video a lot of weird things are happening and I, 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 don't, I think that's excellent. <laughs> you know today it's like the groove and the music is very comfortably, com comfy, I cannot speak anymore, it's very comfy and it, gives, it brings me a lot of comfort but at the same time you know the whole world is kind of wilding and the whole thing again with the, uh, the company it's you know I, I don't know, I don't know. So I think that's kind of funny, and I still like it, so of course I'm, I'm very happy with this. I wouldn't be surprised if if I'm a bit down. This is one of those songs of Premier so that makes me cry, because that's how it is. But it, make, it also gave me comfort, you know what I mean? And that's what I love, is that there is something, and I think that is in relation with the connection that at some point you create with a group, especially after one that you have followed for so long that, you know, you kind of create that, I don't know, it's kind of a bond, I would like to say, not getting into parasocial relationship, I, I don't know, that might be. it's not like that, but the group itself, the history, the history relation with myself, and, uh, you know, helping when ups and downs, brings uh, a point in which you genuinely have this connection, and these are the types of songs that I wouldn't... Uh, doubt that in time whenever I need comfort I can listen to and feel comfortable by the voice so I think that's lovely I I'm still processing some aspects especially again with the whole power thing but I still love it I'm so so happy to see EXO and hopefully we're gonna have you know the whole album I'm gonna try to listen to the album as soon as I can because like with this one I have things to do, so sometimes it's really hard to find the time to sit down and just focus on that. But I'm going to try to listen to the whole album and when the music video comes out, of course, look at it. I'm very, very happy. I'm also very excited to see things. They have published some videos on their YouTube channel and I want to see them because that's something that also gives me comfort. What can I say? 
So we're gonna do that and uh, yeah, in the meantime, I'm very happy. What are your thoughts? Even if you're not an exofan, of course, like it's whatever. I think it's always important to, you know, have different points of view. And I love that, I thought it was very nice, I thought it was very cute. And yeah, we're gonna see what the whole, like the proper title song in the whole album is gonna be like. I'm quite excited. In the meantime, I'm gonna go and watch these another five times and probably just think about it for the rest of the day. <laughs> anyway, bye-bye.